Hey, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What am I doing right now? I'm gonna plastic dip my windows, so stay tuned. I'm gonna cover those windows with some plastic and I know what you're gonna say hey Jordan um, why don't you just tin them from the inside and the fact is I have the moldy racks already installed and my full storage setup and I really really don't want to remove everything just to tint my windows from the inside second option I went through is just to get it uh, covered with some vinyl warp and I contact a few professionals and the fact is it's way too expensive and it's not too expensive for uh, the work or uh, the vinyl itself it's too expensive for the purpose of it I, I just want to cover the back windows uh, mostly for the look for the style so uh, I'd rather put my money on something else like fuel for traveling and uh, still uh, with the covering I could have done it by myself, but I couldn't find a, a piece of covering large enough to cover the whole windows and I didn't feel very confident about doing it uh, with two separate pieces so I thought um, Okay, let's try the plastic dip. Uh, it sounds like a good option. It's not expensive. It's fully removable if I don't like the finished products, I can easily remove it. So you know what, let's give it a try. I'm gonna show you the whole process of it and obviously the finished product. Okay, first essential step, I'm gonna clean the windows with some windows cleaner. So the plastic can get a very nice grip on it. This is very important. <laughs> Okay, second step is to cover all around the windows so I don't get plastic deep on my really nice desert stand paint. Um, so for this I'm gonna use some masking tape and some journal paper, paper journal. So that was the very long and annoying part of it. But now let's get to the fun part. So this is very experimental. I've never used plastic dip before. And we'll see how it goes. Um, here they said that I should put a first thin layer and then another layer every 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go with three layers. I hope I have enough plastic dip to do that. Let's go. Okay, let's call it my first thin layer and actually it doesn't look really good right now. Hopefully we'll get better with more layers, finger crossed. It's been 30 minutes now, let's apply the second layer. Mm. 
this is how it looks after two layers and we can still see through obviously this is not what I want so I'm gonna apply a third layer and we'll see how it goes okay so I just applied a third layer and it's getting better and better um, start to look pretty nice and the good news here I can tell you is that one kind of Plastidip can handle three layers on two pretty big windows Okay, so as you can see, it's getting pretty black, pretty nice. We can't really see through anymore. And that's the result after the fourth layer. So I'm gonna try to put a fifth and probably last layer. I don't want to put like 10 layers. Maybe it's gonna be too thick after that. But from the outside is uh, looking pretty good. I don't know. We're gonna put the fifth layer and see after that. Okay, so this is the result with five layers and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, it's now totally covered we can't see the molly racks behind it so that's a good point I can see on the other side here so now I'm gonna remove all of this journal paper and see how it looks but what I'm gonna do before is to cut the plastic dip between the window and the window seal So we are done with this experiment and if you want to do it by yourself there is a few things you might want to know. The first one, one kind of plastic dip is enough for five layers on two big windows like this. Secondly, on a window like this to get a nice cover you will have to do more than three layers because if you don't you will feed through um, the layer of plastic dip and it's not gonna look cool. So with five layers here, it's okay and we can't see through anymore. If you have just a bit of plastic dip on your paints, don't worry, there is absolutely no problem. You will be able to scrub it and you will remove it easily. At the end, and after looking from different angles, I love it. Um, it looks pretty cool with a nice texture finish. And this is also good for privacy because Obviously, you can't see anything inside the car. A rookie mistake I've done, and you don't want to do it, is to spread too close to the window because at the end you will have an uneven application and different shade of plastic dip, you know, with more shiny parts than other. And uh, this is not what you want, obviously. And something pretty important, it doesn't look good from the inside. <laughs> really, you have to know that. Um, on the inside is 
really really not good but I have my fringe on one side and the kitchen setup on the other with the molly racks so on my rig that's not a problem okay so for a 30 euros job I'm pretty happy with the results and it does the job well the real question is now how durable it is and how long it will last on my window with a normal overland use and we will see that through time so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe to my channel you can also check my instagram account my facebook page and my mercer and if you want to support me in another way i also have a patreon page thank you guys for watching and see you next week